featuring esports and gaming hot topics, hot tweets, and spiciest memes. Marissa, I'm so happy to have you back on the desk. It's been so long. Where have you been? Why have you left us? Why have you abandoned us? I was getting my nursing degree. Oh, really? From my little kit here. Oh my god. Uh, and I also, I also have like the sneaks. So okay. wait, I don't know if you can see. Relax. No, the see, the see people, the here. fanatics ah. are going to get. Ah. Whoa, the skirt. Okay. Uh, what do you let's, mean? I, let's you, not flash. You get a show. They don't. Uh, eh. All right. So this is how the show is going to work. <laughs> We're going to present all the goodies we've gathered, which we will discuss and probably argue. But luckily for all of us, there is a mute button that we can each only use once when we want the other person to shut up. Marissa, do you miss the button? Uh, no, I didn't miss the button because I hardly ever hit it, but I do. I did miss <laughs> you. Sure. I feel like today we could get started with maybe a good old-fashioned cat fight. Oh, oh, what do you think, Lisa? Let's, let's get it. her going. Remember, we like it when you call us up when we're wrong and praise us when we're spitting true. So let's get to it. For our first story, we're taking a look at Nate Shot, who is a living embodiment of if at first you don't succeed, try again. Nate Shot announced in a new video that 100 Thieves is planning to sign a CSGO team. Details on the move are scarce, as Nate Shot didn't reveal anything besides the fact that he wants a CSGO roster. This would be the second time 100 Thieves would operate as a CSGO team. Their last attempt lasted about two months before the team was let go due to controversy. Lisa, dun, dun, dun. what do you think of this? Should 100 Thieves return to CSGO? Sure, why not? Why don't they join every single eSport? <laughs> Rocket League! Uh, Le well, they'd have a League of Legends team, except they're well, not performing yeah. that well. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so do they a have new, really a League of Legends team? A new well, League that just went really yeah. off. Uh, but yeah, why not? I think CSGO is a really great eSport uh, yeah. to get into. Uh, very profitable if they're doing well. Mm -hmm. But you know, with 100 Thieves and the branding that they have, I don't think they can fail at this point. I think they're mm -hmm. almost like top three esport orgs at mm -hmm. this moment. Mm -hmm. It's crazy, so. the rise to success this yeah. guy's had. Um, and he's just done really well for himself. He's done well to bring in the right partners, to bring in the right faces of these partners as well, because there's a lot of shady business that goes on in esports. We know this, okay? Um, it's just because when an when, uh, industry is very new, a lot of people from the outside try to take advantage of something so new, especially business people, just seeing a way to make a quick buck or a little sure. bit more money. And I feel like Nayshot has the right people in there to make this work. So, hold on. Why? You don't think so? Well, you see, they have the right people. I know yeah. you're a, few, a huge fan of Scooter Braun, right? But okay. did you not hear about the controversy he what? was just in recently with Taylor Swift? Uh, the other love of your life? Okay. Yo! This yeah. Wow, this is the drama this, right here. This is totally esports related, by <laughs> so the way. So Ron invest, yeah. invested in 100 Thieves, by the way. This isn't just a random he, he talk. Is, he is an investor in 100 Thieves. He's, he also was the manager for Justin Bieber, okay? <laughs> Shout out to Canada. Okay. Um, no, it was. I feel like it's because... Oh, this is totally esports related. <laughs> because Justin Bieber sent, he sent out an Instagram post tagging and circling Scooter Braun and pointing to him and saying publicly, hey, Taylor. And then so that triggered her to write a whole thing about how he bought her music when she should have bought it. She should own so it herself. Wrong. It's the other way around. Around. It's the other way around. Taylor accused him first for being a bully, and then Justin Bieber defended Scooter Braun on so, uh, social media. So Scooter, Scooter Braun, who invests in 100 Thieves, they're, they're bullies, too. Yeah, by Tyler's really upset with us right now because We're going we did not talk about CSGO at all. We talked no, the about point Taylor is it's great. Swift Good and job, Bieber. 100 Thieves. Good job. Join us at CSGO. We'll see how it goes. All I'm right? excited for them. Yes. Um, whatever. Over in Dota, Forward Gaming qualified for the International 2019 last week. That's great news. The bad news is that as of this morning, Forward Gaming no longer exists. The org folded due to an inability to pay its players, who are owed one month's salary and nearly $40,000 in prize money. That means with less than a month to go before TI9, one squad does not have a sponsor. Marissa, what would you do if you were a player on this team, huh? What's, Hold on a what's second. your priority? Are these guys not playing now? In TI? I mean, I think they need a sponsor. Like, we've had teams become orgless, just like in CSGO, right? They had yes. they had no org, but they need money to operate. So how are they going to afford going to TI? Yeah, because if the team itself qualified to be there, uh -huh. then they should still play and be in there. TI is the one disruptor in all of Dota, okay? It's a disruptor yeah. in, in all of esports, really, because of how much money it actually accrues from the fans, which is so crazy. And because of this, they should get in there and they should get a piece of that, especially if they qualified to be there. Mm -hmm. If the org can't pay them, yeah, that friggin' sucks because obviously people need to get paid and people need to pay their friggin' rent, and et cetera. But, or like, I feel like they've got to they've got to play. This is crazy. Yeah. They've got to play because uh, they, they need this play. money. This prize pool is absolutely astronomical and any team that doesn't make it in is so bummed out for the rest of the season. 100%. Because this is the time to make uh, the money. So get on board. Yeah. Play. You, like, don't get paid for a month, whatever it is, like, with your org, but, like, go play org list yeah. at TI. That's how it needs to be done. So I don't know if there's kind of rules in place where they can't. Should they, 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 they pay out of pocket? Uh, at this point, what do they do? 
to what get do they to do? get to TI. Yeah. I mean, that they have that's, to. that's what Weedem Girls did in Rocket League, and now they're okay. sponsored, which is great. But like that, we've seen this happen with a lot of different players before. Unfortunately, it really sucks because again, esports is so young. Players, there's no such thing as a players unit in place except for like CS:GO. There's there's different things happening within yeah. those bigger scenes and League of Legends. Too, yeah. Yeah, yeah, League of Legends, but. This needs to be taken care of. Yes. This needs to be, especially in Dota, when there's so much money on the line. It's such a massive Honestly, astronomical esport. This is they need the money. perfect time for an org, a smart org, to just swoop in and pick up the oh team gosh, completely. and compete in the TI. Now, who knows if they do really well, this org can make money like that without really investing into this team for that long. There right? you go. Any Guys, sharks, any investors that watch this show, this pick is it. it up. This is your chance. There you go. I'll One pick opportunity. Them up. Okay. I'll pick them up. <laughs> <laughs> With all our money, we make an eSports player unknown battleground. eSports has unique feature that is not found anywhere else. During matches, players' eye movements are tracked and occasionally shown on screen in the middle of action. That way, you can see where a pro player looks mid-game. Lisa, is this useful information or a bit creepy? Um, I think it's actually really great. This is so cool from a perspective where you want to learn what it's like to be an eSport player. Yeah. For me, if I want to be, you know, if I'm aiming to be good at PUBG, I would watch these cams and I would study what they are focusing on, right? Why are you laughing? I love her hypothetical. Well, honestly, uh, it's very uh, hypothetical. going to be a professional in PUBG. She's not going to be a professional in PUBG, no, okay? No, no, no chance in the world, not but not this close. ability might help me get one step <laughs> closer because I want to, you know, when you're getting into a game, it's hard to know, like, am I supposed to be watching the map? Am I supposed to be watching the screen? For like enemy and yeah. I supposed to be watching like you know what like it's so hard so with this ability you can actually see what the pros are doing and mimic mm. it and you mm. can only get better with yeah. this skill. I feel like, like if people are just listening to the story and it's like a, an outsider's perspective they've never played PUBG before this is significant because of the way the map works because of the way rotations work and because of your team strategy it's all about team strats here and sometimes mm -hmm. teams will fan out yeah. and they won't stick together right and that's part of the strat so we need to keep an eye on team player different there's so many players in the map when it first starts and yeah. you also have to pay respect put respect on where certain teams go to and every team knows where the other teams go. Mm -hmm. It's a whole world within this pro scene of PUBG that is so fantastic. So I love the fact that we can actually track player movements, eye movements, if that's something people want to do. I'm, it's not, it doesn't really benefit me in any way you? because I don't play PUBG remotely okay. enough no, to care. But here's the thing, starting with PUBG, but what if now this is applied to all esports? Like this is just going to give us more information sure. uh, that will, you know, maybe analytics. This becomes a new analytic thing like that we can keep track of. And and I don't know. I yeah. think well, I would love to see this in League of Legends. I would love to see this in other esports. Would you? Yeah. Okay. Why not? I want to know where Double Lift is looking uh, while he's playing, <laughs> just to be as good. Is that weird? I know that weird. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you did say it weird, but I'm I don't thinking. know if this enhances the player experience or not. Like well, nothing or, for the player. This isn't. The, you know what I mean? Like, what do they yeah. get out of it? And also, maybe they're giving up their. Some people don't want to show their hand, right? Yeah. Even though we're showing their eyes, mm. that's kind of like showing the hand that they're playing with, for right? Sure. So maybe they don't want this. They, these players should be consulted. What? No. Moving forward. It's for us. Kids all the players. All right, let's move on to our next story. Uh, Call of Duty pro Clayster took to Twitter to re-examine his prize pool breakdown of this year's World League. Back in January, Clayster said a pro could make nearly $120,000 if they win everything. That includes a $9,000 base salary for being in the league, as well as the $500 bonus per match win. So Marissa, should the base salary for the CWL be higher, first of all? Because $9,000 does seem like a little bit. Like, that seems very little. Just yeah, to be in the league. Yeah, but then when you win, you win a lot of money. When you win, but how, you know what I mean? Like, not everyone can win. So for the people who make last place, they're making, what, $9,000 per season? Yeah. That sounds bad, guys. Mm -hmm. Sounds pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, okay. So this is why I think this. I think this will all change once franchising comes into place here. Yeah. It should change anyway. Yeah. Um, only because they're taking a real sports model mm -hmm. and implementing it to Call of Duty, right? Because they want to appeal to a mainstream audience, and mainstream audiences understand sports. So when we understand sports, we understand that we know player salaries, mm -hmm. and player salaries are presented to us. So if we only find out these players are making sub amount of money, like a, a really low piece of money, and people that watch sports are watching this for the first time, thinking yeah. seriously. That's it. Why am I even watching these kids? Like I make more money. You know what I mean? Like also money they, talks. Money does talk. Way. It really does, especially when you're watching professionals play, right? Yeah. You. It also gives us a reason to chirp them too. Like are they getting paid this much money to 
play a video game. Like it gives people <laughs> have something voice. to talk about, right? <laughs> so I think this well, that was my like that, that was my like old man yells at cloud. Oh, was it? That was a reporter from like the 1960s. Okay, well, and I'm like, bing, na na na, bring the news. <laughs> It's all, like that. all of that. It all ties in. Oh, all of it. Okay. Yeah. I, I want players, obviously, to uh, get a better living wage, yes. of course, especially with so many of the players having to swap. Like, the roster swaps that happen yeah. in CWL as well is so crazy. It's so entertaining, and that's why I love COD mm -hmm. so much. So much drama. Uh, Drums. I love it. Okay. I love it. But I want them to. I want them to all have a living wage because yeah. this is what they're doing. They devote so many hours a day to playing this game. Yeah. It is crazy how much they train, and they should definitely be rewarded for it. Yeah. If not, the thing is, like, I see that the orgs, like, whatever they're paying them, I see that they're also streaming, and then they're making money off of their subs as well. So. But yeah. That's, what, a side, like, that's a separate thing. It's a side playing. hustle. Let them have their side hustle if it's not taking away from their gameplay. Yeah. Especially if they're if they're practicing mm. the whole time too. I don't know. Like, yeah. just get. get Throw some money. God, yeah. let them uh, live their lives. At least they're getting paid. Forward Gaming, I'm sure, would love $9,000. Chirps. Based this has got chirps. All right. It's time to check in with streamers in Clip. And our first clip teaches us the difference between numbers and letters. It's marked on this page. OK, tell me all the pages it's marked on. It, it doesn't have numbers. It has XII and XIII. Those are numbers. Those are Roman numerals. Those are not numbers. They're letters. Those are Roman numerals. They're X, letters. X is 5 and I is 1. So OK. Five no, no, no. Five. Oh no. Um, oh no. <laughs> okay, all right, but to be fair, uh, to be fair okay. if you've never uh, experienced. <laughs> go on. If you've never Go on, I want to hear this one. <laughs> yeah, go on. I don't know, like, where in her life would she have. Maybe she hasn't seen, like, sequels to things or, like, played a, <laughs> played a Mortal Kombat game <laughs> or, like. Yeah, I don't, or I don't like know. a clock. Or like, I, or like watch, or watch like the Super Bowl, or <laughs> or any wrestling growing up. I don't know. If like she lived under a rock, you're right. You're <laughs> right. If she lived under a rock, yeah, she might not have encountered Roman numerals. <laughs> um, but I love the the fact that when the person was like, no, it's numbers, she was just like, no, it's letters. Like, like she wasn't like, no, mm -hmm. it's letters. I listen. We've all been there. <laughs> uh, at some capacity, listen, we don't want to hate on her, but that's a big uh, cap up. It, All right. Yeah, it's yeah, funny. that was a fail. All right, our <laughs> next clip uh, comes with a trigger warning for PETA and members. Twitch streamer Alinity isn't able to control her frustrations with her cat. Mm. Milo! <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Cats always land on their feet, right? <laughs> so hopefully that cat landed okay. Uh, this clip actually went viral yeah. along with another clip of her spitting vodka into her cat's mouth. Like, yeah. I don't know if it was like a kiss. It was like one of those like drunken kisses, but there was vodka in her mouth. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, she's she's under a lot of fire for this, and she has issued an apology uh, on stream saying that her um, animals are loved very much. Um, uh, you know what? I this kind of stuff triggers me, obviously, um, especially the vodka thing. That the cat throwing thing, like yeah, that was bad. But I've I've seen people like toss their cats. To, yeah. I'm sure Tyler tosses his cat. Like, <laughs> oh no! Just just because they do land on their feet, right? Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, Tyler says never. Okay, so I mean, <laughs> they can jump from high places and land on their feet. Obviously, it's not great to toss them. Yes. But the whole like like giving your animal alcohol, that's really messed up. That's yeah. straight up abuse. I, there was even a dog at the music toxic. festival. It's very uh, toxic over the weekend. Cats. Yeah, it's just not. It, that's the thing. Yeah. The, you guys, like, if you're gonna if you're gonna be an animal owner, that's a, that's the problem. There's no background checks for animal owners at all. You can just adopt whatever, and um, you know, treat an animal how you please. And uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of evil out there. I'm not saying this girl in particular is evil, but maybe she just um, she that's the way that. she witnessed animals being treated her whole life. And so that that's the thing. You learn from example, right? You learn from example. Well, you think her I mom was growing up making out with her cat, giving them vodka. I don't know. Maybe we don't know. We don't know. Hopefully, this is a learning experience for her, and she can. I yeah. don't know, she, grow a little bit, but also you know she got more subs from this, right? No way. You, you, any controversy that happens, anytime a streamer is in the limelight of whatever it is, it doesn't matter. They they'll be they'll get hated on for yeah. sure, but they'll get subs for people to hate on them. That's so messed up, especially since everyone knows that cats love weed, not alcohol. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, it really is the best time of day when you scroll through the Twitterverse to bring you all the things the pros blessed with in their timeline. It's Monday, and I bet Hugs tweeted something of substance this weekend. Of course. My mom messaged me to tell me that my whole family went to see the new Lion King together, our favorite movie growing up, and that I was the only piece missing to complete her family. I legit cried. Like, it actually brought me to tears that they watched such an ishy film. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Was that like a savage burn at the end? 
like, yeah. I did not expect that. It's so good. Listen, uh, the reviews are not the greatest for this movie. Yeah. I don't know if you saw Lion King. Let us know in chat if you have. Um, I, apparently, it's just one big like CG uh, flex. It's just one big CG flex. Yeah. That's all it is. Like, well, what do not, you expect? We could no, but we could have just enjoyed. There's just some mo some movies that don't need to be remade, okay? And now we're just getting all these remakes, these live action, whatever. I don't think that Lion King needed to be one of those live action. Did you not want Beyonce in the Lion King? Really? You're telling me? Oh my God! Do not turn this to a whole Beyonce thing. Okay? Beyonce, this not, no, this is come not. In. Let's let's uh, come on. Did you tell me Beyonce did not make this movie better? Her songs were amazing. The soundtrack I have not watched the was movie. amazing. I'm I haven't watched the movie either, but I've heard the songs. Okay, what? Well, I've heard the songs. I haven't heard the songs either. Listen, I'm not throwing any shade to Beyonce, okay? Just make a friggin' She's relax. Holy Back smokes. Now. Back no, now. that's another thing too, is that people are afraid of the beehive, so they never say anything negative of Beyonce because they will attack. Yeah. They full on attack, yo. You don't speak any evil on the queen. Okay, Queen B. Okay, this, right. is, this is about esports, I swear on. to God. <laughs> Let's move on. Our next tweet is a sub tweet for sure, and we're here for it. <laughs> Zoe says, when someone posts a live slash fitness slash work update, shares their craft or progress, and people say, you're so lucky, I struggle not to call them out. Ever considered that the person works really hard to get where they are at, and luck has had very little to do with their success? Mm. She's yeah. not wrong. No, she's not wrong. Obviously, she was triggered by something or someone. Maybe saying it to her or whatever it is. I really hate that stuff, too. Yeah. Like, um, you know, I actually also hate it when people say it to my husband. About, like, I don't like that stuff wait, at wait, all. Wait, wait, what did they like, say? No, like, if they say, oh, you're so lucky. Like, to be if, with you? Yeah. That's a I wrong, really that's hate, a mistake I really, right there. I feel yeah. sorry for your husband. Well, for if sure. If you really know Marissa. <laughs> woo! Yo, he... <laughs> me too, but I hate, that stuff. I hate that stuff so much because, like, you're, you're equals in a relationship, right? You're equals with whatever it is. So I don't like that. The whole their whole turn of phrase like oh you're you're so lucky Wait, like so no there's a reacher that's not, that's there's not no reacher in a relationship the reacher and the settler you know there's that concept you know so? you never heard of it reacher and settler yeah like no one's really equal you know what I mean like sometimes one's better than the other have you guys oh heard? my god yo, like, yo, yo, I'm like, yeah yeah you want to be watching this by the that's way not, you've what? never heard of no, I've never heard of that. Oh, it's a real thing, Marissa. Uh, so wait, what are you saying? So you're yeah. saying in every relationship, there's always one person that is reaching to someone who's better and one person who settles or someone who's less better. And it could include a lot of things, you know, whether it's money, looks, personality, craziness, other things, you know what I mean? Okay, but, so. what, if, but what if we eliminated the whole idea of like... Their personality and their qualities? No, no, <laughs> no. We enhance the personality and limit the idea that money is everything. Okay? Oh, yeah, for Even sure. Even that's the main theme of the show. <laughs> it's all about the money. Except for this time. Yeah, yeah. No, but but in relationships, I feel like that's one of the main things that people fight about is money, right? Yeah. So if we eliminate that from our mindset and we just focus on what that person brings us emotionally but that's and too physically. Idealistic. That's oh god, Marissa. That's then, too idealistic. Money talks. In a relationship, in a marriage, don't you want to have a nice home for your future kids? For all that stuff, money is important in a relationship. It, it, well, sure. If you look at it there. as a business partnership, oh, it's a life yeah. partner. And guess what? Business is part of life. Okay, you know what? This actually wasn't about relationships. This was actually about <laughs> work. This was full on about work. No, no it's about um, life. But it's true. We all work really hard to get where we are. Yeah. Okay. Yes. You know what? Some windows or doors open sooner than others. Yeah. Tyler, quiet. I'm making a point. Honestly, he's just on my <laughs> ear. You annoying. The f out of me. Yes. Let's mute him. Please. <laughs> I want to mute Tyler. No, but the point is that we've we've made sacrifices in our lives. We we definitely have worked really hard to get where we're at. Um, I don't appreciate those sen yeah. sentiments being made. Yes. You know what? A window maybe has opened first because I'm a girl. That that definitely has happened. Wow. That definitely has happened. Yeah. For sure. With like other jobs that I've gotten, like they've given it to a girl over a guy. But you better believe I busted my butt yeah. to make it legitimate and make sure that like I did everything I could to step up. Yeah. To make sure that that job was legit. I really relate to this. You. Tweet though, because my mom said this to me my whole life. What? She always says, You're so lucky. Oh, you passed that test because you were lucky. I'm like, Mom, just <sighs> love me. Hey, yo, this really brought up some feelings, Zoe. Thank you so much for that. And Tyler, <laughs> seriously, yeah, I get it. We're moving on, all right? Let's lighten things up here with something beautiful the buzz shared from the weekend. <laughs> this metal is so ugly. Oh my god. WTF. Hold on a second. Defend. What is that saying? It's so rusted. I can't even tell. Yo, Defend the North? Yo, okay. So, like, what? Kate, I need to know because that was a bronze metal. Yeah. I need to know if that was one of those things where it was really bronze and it oxidized. I, I think that's what it is. It's got to be. That can't be a design. That's like the nastiest it's design. It's so nasty. I love that he put them on blast. They're like, this metal is. It is so ugly. Uh, that's what you get for being third. Why don't you get, why don't you get first? <laughs> That's just not my problem. <laughs> Devaz, yo, Lisa's like, calling you out. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But maybe it's the maple syrup. Wait, didn't it come with maple syrup or what? What was that? 
I don't freaking that? know what the F that was. <laughs> that was so messed up. How do you even show your friends that? Yeah. Oh, what? If it's real bronzo, like, do something with that. Sell it. All right. Let's yeah. move on ahead because it's time to get to some crowd control. This is where we showcase some of the great or simply dank things the community has been making or doing. This first post comes from Verway Flung for sure. Mm. If I said something inappropriate in German or whatever, I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, um, so as you can see, not only did this person dye their hair a blazing red, they got wow. a Charizard etched into the back. Uh, you're saying wow, but this may be a prime example of awful taste, but great execution. What are you talking about? I choose fire type every time. This is incredible. Really? That guy's embodying fire type. Yo, more power to you. Like impulsive I love that. and making dumb decisions? That, that's not dumb, that's beautiful. Uh, that, is, that is beautiful. I have seen some dumb haircuts in my life. Wow. Brody. Some <laughs> dumb hair. Yo, okay, also another thing, Brody's not coming in this week straight up because he got his hair dyed and it's not quite the color that You're he lying. wanted. I swear to God. It's not quite the color that he wanted and something about it hasn't blended right in the back. What? And that's why he's not here. Are you serious? I'm serious. Why is he so vain? He acts like he's you know? not, but why are you so I vain? I love we can just riff on him when he's not here. <laughs> it's the best. Defend yourself. He can chat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there's been a lot of talk recently about aliens storming Area 51. I love these memes so much, but... Did you ever think what would happen if aliens discovered us first? <gasps> okay, let's see this. Okay, we have finally determined the appearance of the human. Behold! How do you know that they have three arms? <laughs> Alien gestures to the N64 controller. Oh my god! <laughs> That's so true! That's so true. Is there is there a reason why there was a third handle on it's the so, controller? It's so weird. Like I, because I was a kid playing this, so I didn't uh, think about it at all. I just kind of grabbed the controller, and it was all good. It was all loved. Did but, you like, ever like, grab back weird? to it? <laughs> no, it just made sense. It just made sense that you'd hold the middle one. That you Wait, hold the, you hold I, the middle one? I yeah, tiny. I thought hands. you hold the side ones. No, 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 middle. You guys, middle. Yeah. Oh. Tina, this girl's playing it wrong. <laughs> I would hold the side like a normal person. I, Wait, I almost called you Tina, by the way, and that's my mom's name, and that's how she. She that makes me it. uncomfortable. <laughs> I know I'm called, they call me mom here sometimes, but <laughs> Tina, respect. That works. No, you had to, you hold the middle because you had to get, uh, put your thumb on the joystick. But what about the buttons on the left side? You would just reach over and grab them. The, the, the third, you would rarely ever use. I think maybe if there was a racing game or something, you would hold the outside. But I, I would never play racing games on the N64, so. It was only Mario 64 and like GoldenEye, all that stuff. Slappers only, girl. Get with it. Get N to step in. Nintendo. All right, speaking of Nintendo, it's time for our last post, and it really brings up an important issue in gaming. Nintendo, the people are calling you out. Mm. All right, so Nintendo makes anti-penis system in level editors. Also Nintendo. Bam! Look at that right there. Okay, Nintendo, double standards exposed. What the hell is that? This is a kid's game, <laughs> Nintendo. I just love that it has like pee-pee. <laughs> and like pee-pee. Pee just in case you didn't get the reference, pee-pee. It's like lava all over. I don't know what that means, but. <laughs> Lisa needs to play more, she needs to play more Mario games, I basically, don't. is what I've discovered from I don't. this whole well, why episode. Why would I? Today. It's corrupted. It's a dirty game for nasty kids and people. <laughs> It's disgusting. I would never let my you, kids play that. You hear that, Super Mario lover? It's a dirty game <laughs> dirty for game. nasty kids. Yeah, you nasty <laughs> kids playing <laughs> Mario. We didn't really cat fight today. I really wanted no, to cat fight. No, next There's time. always a potential. I did have somebody message like, I really like it when you and Lisa host <gasps> because there's always a potential of a cat fight, a good old fashioned cat fight. <laughs> that's right. Maybe not today, but next time, come back. Ah, that's <laughs> it from you to remember. You can always hit us up on our social. Just say hi or send us some stuff to react to. We are Squad State everywhere. We'll see you next time.